trash. Well, listen, the time for trash talk is over. This is not Twitter. You have to pay for what you say. There are consequences for running your mouths in real life. And today they learned that. How are you feeling, bud? Feeling good. Mm -hmm. Ready for tonight? Yep. What are you looking forward to? Hopefully winning. It's a big game for you guys, huh? Yeah. Big game. Alright, let's go. Okay, so it is ahead. So, Broomfield, you guys. You bumped the clock. Coach said you wanted to first, and you wanted to kick to the south. Yeah, so go on to this side, you guys go on that side. In the first half, Broomfield has chosen to defer. Holy family will receive. Excuse me.
Number 17, T.T. Hunt. on the play. You got the two points of Davis. The two points of Davis is there. How do you tell me you win? The pass is incomplete. That's the penalty. Tigers win. Tigers win. About 365 days ago, they beat us by 50 points. We've had this sour taste in our mouth for a whole year, and we just came out and we said, we got nothing to lose. It can't get worse than that. So we were like, we know we can do this. We all believed in us, and I couldn't have done it without my team. Of course. It's like you put the team on your back, you know, dragging folks, you know, running, passing. I mean, just talk about your mindset coming into tonight. My mindset was just, we, we got to win. I got to win. It's a whole team effort. That what we did, and I couldn't have done it without my wide receivers making plays, my O line making plays, my running backs making plays. It was a whole team effort. Absolutely, that student section, uh, just this crowd, the whole city of Broomfield was out here to see who would win the battle of Broomfield. Just talk about the crowd reaction and what type of Friday Night Lights atmosphere this was. I've never played in front of more people. I mean, this is the wildest I've ever played in. I mean, it was loud. I could barely hear. My O line's like, y'all gotta scream louder, and I'm like, okay. And, I mean, it was just crazy. It was great. I mean, but now we know who owns Broomfield, right? <laughs>